It is time to talk turkey. This week, many will make their Thanksgiving meals with the bird as a centerpiece, but so many things can go wrong. That's why we reached out to Butterball. They've been answering all sorts of questions about turkeys since the early 1980s. Mary Alice Coffey joins us now. Mary Alice, welcome to our well, show. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to you and happy Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving. So let's tell everyone, Mary Alice has been a hotline operator with Butterball for nearly 30 years and she knows what she's doing. She's got the whole display. What is the best way, Mary Alice, let's dive in. What is the best way to thaw a turkey and why is that so important? Well, it's only important to thaw your turkey because if you don't, you're going to have uneven cooking um, and it just will not cook correctly. So it's best to go ahead and thaw it. There's uh, two easy ways to do it. In the refrigerator, it's 24 pounds, uh, 24 hours for every four pounds. But at this point, you only have a couple of days. Yeah. So I would recommend putting it in a cooler. Uh, you're going to fill it with cold tap water and you're going to have it takes 30 minutes a pound to thaw it out, change the water every 30 minutes. I would do it today or tonight when you get it time you can break it up do a little bit each night monday night or tuesday night and then always put it back on a tray in the refrigerator when you're done so it's always cold uh, but you can start thawing now it's good for four days after it's thawed so mary alice i've had a lot of people ask what is the best way to keep a turkey moist well, the most important thing if you want a moist turkey is to not overcook it. Mm. So I would really recommend your best friend in the kitchen, which is your meat thermometer. And you're going to use that, make sure it's working well. It's not been bumping around in your drawer for 10 years. <laughs> so go ahead and you stick your meat thermometer in the thigh of the turkey and the temperature will be 180. The breast temperature will be 170 and your stuffing temperature will be 165. And that way you can ensure that your turkey is safe and ready to, to go. Um, a dry turkey is usually one that's left in the oven too long. That's right. All right, so three different temperatures that we need to keep in mind. Mary Alice, you've been doing this for 29 years. What are some of the more unusual questions you've gotten over the years? Oh my goodness, we've gotten so many particular problems with people. And, um, you know, I had a young man who was very nervous about making his Thanksgiving dinner for his new fiance and her parents. But he followed all the butterball directions. He did the best he could and he called us because when he put the turkey in the oven, he hit the button that said clean instead of bake. <laughs> oh, no. So the door locked and it went up to 500 degrees oh, and there no. was smoke filling in the kitchen. <laughs> so he, no. he was very upset and I calmly told him to hang up and call the fire department <laughs> because you need to get that turkey out of the oven. <laughs> Sir, please call 911 immediately. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully things worked out for them. I think they just probably just went out to eat. Now, Mary Alice, there are several ways to cook a turkey, right? You can roast it, grill it, smoke it. What is the easiest way to make a bird? Well, the easiest way is the roasting method, which is Butterball's okay. preferred method of cooking turkey. You just need a pan with a rack. You put the, open up the turkey by the sink, let the juices run down the drain, put it the turkey right on the rack. You don't need to wash it or anything. And then you just pat it dry with some paper towels. You wanna to set your oven at 325. And the average turkey is only gonna take about three to three and a half hours. But the only way you'll know it's really done is to use the meat thermometer. So one thing you can do to prepare it before you put it in the oven is brush it with a little bit of oil or spray oil on the top. That'll give it that nice golden brown color. Mm -hmm. um, and also I would recommend if you're cooking a very large turkey, you might want to put a lightweight piece of foil, just fold it in half about the size of a notebook paper and just lay it on top of the breast because that will, you know, slow down the breast temperature a little bit um, while the rest of the turkey is cooking and bring it up to temperature. Mary Alice, so those you are say, the sorry, two little tips. Sorry to interrupt. When you say large turkey, how many pounds is a large turkey? I think a large turkey would be in the in the area of 18 to 24 pounds. Ooh, that is a large turkey. I would consider that a pretty large turkey. It's a huge turkey, Mary Alice. All yeah, right. yeah, I, that's a lot. When can we start calling and texting Butterball with our very... Well, we are open today. All week okay. long, we're going to be answering calls. Uh, you can reach us at 1-800-BUTTERBALL with any of your questions. Um, if you don't have time, you can go to butterball.com where you can get a lot of videos, mm -hmm. active videos to show you uh, how to do things. 
but also we have texting and chat emails and uh, we also have Alexa device. If you have that, you can ask Alexa about Butterball. <laughs> there so there's go. many ways to reach us. And many, many thanks to you, Mary Alice Coffey, with Butterball uh, numbers on the screen where you can call and text starting today. Mary Ellis, thank you so much for joining us on KB News Midday. Well, thank you for having us. Yes. And I hope you have all a good Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to you too, Mary Alice.